The Flow Sports Radio. Matthew Shack of the Flow Sports Radio Show, episode 54. Doing sports, only the way the Flow Sports Radio Show knows how to do it. We're going to go ahead and talk about Russell Westbrook. Last night, he went ahead and broke the 55-year-old record for triple doubles in a season with his uh, 42nd triple double. Uh, that was set by Oscar Robinson back in the 1961-62 season, and he did it in dramatic fashion with a come from behind win, 106-105. Uh, with a last second three-pointer from 36 feet out. Finished his uh, game totals with 50 points, 16 rebounds, and 10 assists. Let me say that again. 50, 50, 16, and 10. Come on now. We don't want to talk no more about the MVP race. That that definitely, if it did not solidify last episode, like I said before, for those of y'all that are still running around with your hater hat on, Russell Westbrook definitely solidified it with that come from behind win. And that dagger that he did last night was just an, um, amazing and incredible. Uh, in regards to the MVP race, James Harden also had a monster game on Saturday. But once again, Russell We're Westbrook has overshone baby. everybody uh, in regards to his play. Uh, it's just the nature of the beast when it comes to him, man. He's doing amazing things. Uh, Kevin Durant uh, came back from his uh, being out since February and missing uh, more than a plethora of games. Came back with uh, a storyline of uh, 16 points. Uh, and he looked he looked a little rusty in the first half, but he started getting it together. And, uh, you know, he played solid. And uh, he had a reverse dunk, you know, reverse coming around the baseline dunk. You know, he didn't have a whole lot of elevation. But at the end of the day, it's a good sign for Golden State and, their, and the Golden State Warrior fans to see KD back in the mix. Steph Curry uh, took the night off. Uh, Clay Thompson was there. And uh, we're going to see how it all happens, man. Uh, the Warriors have already been solidified to go ahead and play um, uh, Damian Lillard and the uh, and the Trailblazers and the Portland Trailblazers. And on Saturday night, he had a monster game. He went for 59 points, uh, almost had 61 uh, but he made one of three free throws at the end of the game. But Damian Lillard was was a man, played like a man possessed. Uh, and it's going to be very interesting to see that first round matchup uh, in regards to Golden State playing uh, playing the uh, Trailblazers. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. But uh, we only got a couple games left, like about two games left for the regular season. And the playoffs should be going down by this weekend. So it's time, it's crunch time. It's time for us to uh, go zero dark 30. Uh, in regards to this regular season as LeBron James does every year uh, and speaking of LeBron James they they lost back-to-back -back losses to uh, Atlanta they just blew a 26 point lead in the fourth quarter last night to lose by one point to uh, to the Hawks and they're looking they're looking horrific you know what I'm saying they're looking like somebody took them outside with uh, you know with a rug mat hung them up to dry and just beat just beat them down. Just beat them until the dust came out. That's how bad they look, man. So, I don't know. LeBron says, him and Kyrie said they're going to be ready for the playoffs. It don't look like they're going to be ready for the playoffs. But then again, you start with a 0-0 record in the playoffs. Don't matter what happens. You're playing good, you're playing good. You're playing bad, you're playing bad. So, we'll see what happens uh, in the first round of playoffs for them. Uh, and then on the uh, golf front, uh, in the Masters, uh, Sergio Garcia wins his first major uh, by coming, you know, with a sudden death playoff. He made a birdie in a sudden death playoff against Jordan Spieth, and he was able to win his first major. And what's incredible about that man is that uh, he's been in the uh, been in PGA forever. Uh, Sergio's been in there at least 15 years. He ain't never won a major. You know what I'm saying? He was one of the guys that we looked at as like Sergio. You know, you're you're not achieving. You're you're not. You're underachieving in the in the golf game. But he went ahead and took that green jacket last night, and uh, good to see that guy do his thing. Uh, but you know, we miss Tiger out there, man. You know, that's a whole nother ball game when it comes to that. So uh, hopefully, Tiger get it right, get it tight soon enough, so we can get back to watching golf the way we like to watch it. But we don't know. We already know what Tiger's situation is. We know what happened. We know what he shouldn't should have done and what he shouldn't have done. But at the end of the day, it's not going to help him get any green jackets or any majors anytime soon. So that's it. Flow Sports Radio Show, getting it in and getting it in well. But until then, game on. Game on. Stir Crazy Productions, baby. Man, my grandmama gave me that chain. What chain? Yeah, what chain? <laughs> <laughs>